Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What I want to share with you is a paper that I presented in February 2012 in International Conference on Ethics and Religion in Qom, and Harry was in the same conference. Uh, so this gives you a little bit introduction to the significance of peace. And the title is Peace, a Means or an End. So I started with explaining the Arabic term for peace, you know, because we have two terms. One is salam, which means peace. The other is sulh, which also means peace. So the word salam has a special affinity with the word Islam. So salam and Islam come from the same root, which is sal. So it is interesting that Islam, which is the religion that brings about peace, Selm, by surrendering and submitting one's soul to God, which is called Taslim, ask people to open their conversations with, with each other with Salam. And that is prayer for their peace. So when we meet each other, we greet each other by saying, Peace be upon you, which means, first, no harm is going to come from me to you, and secondly, I am praying to God to give you peace. So not only I'm not going to harm you, I'm actually going to help you to reach peace. And this peace is internally and externally, so sometimes people have no external tension, but internally they don't have peace. We want peace both internally and externally. So now, let us reflect on some verses of the Quran about peace. But in this general sense, especially about these greetings of peace. So, when we study the verses of the Quran, we find that these greetings of peace is mentioned for different groups of people and in different contexts. For example, the prophets, the Quran, the Quran teaches us that salutation of peace has been the greeting and slogan of prophets before Prophet Muhammad. It's not just Prophet Muhammad. For example, according to Quran, Abraham uses this greeting in response to the greetings of peace by angels. If you go to verse 69 of chapter 11, then you have these greetings of peace between angels and Abraham. So Abraham responds to the greetings of angels by peace. Qalu salama, qala salamun. Also the Quran says about Jesus. <coughs> and what is interesting is that the verse which talks about Jesus says that Jesus also offered this greeting of peace to himself. If you go to the verses 30 to 33 of chapter 19, chapter Mary, verses 30 to 33, is about what Jesus said after birth. When there were people who were surprised, you know, who, where this child comes from, and Lady Mary was inspired by God to point at the baby 
and baby started talking قال إني عبد الله آتاني الكتاب وجعلني نبيا I am indeed a servant of God he has given me revelation a book made me a prophet and he has made me blessed wheresoever I be جعلني مباركا أينما كن wherever I am going to be I would be a source of blessing for everyone and has enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live he has made me kind to my mother and not overbearing or miserable then he says assalamu alayya yawma wulittu peace be on me the day I was born or peace is on me you can read it as a statement or as prayer the day I die and the day I shall be raised up to life again I will be resurrected so he is offering this greeting of peace to himself because this greeting of peace is a prayer you can pray for the peace of people you meet you can pray for peace of yourself as a prayer it's not just a formal you know way of greeting so the very fact that peace has been the slogan of the prophets angels and believers can still be witnessed in different cultures and even among people of different faith for example Jews greet each other by saying Shalom which is very similar to Salam or Christians call Jesus Prince of Peace and chant in their place of worship Pekem your Pesem you say Pachem Pachem yeah. yeah so and the peace of Christ be with you is, uh, in a sense is what it's so similar no no please help me so, so then we have about the greetings of people of heaven if you go for example to verses 9 and 10 of chapter 10 chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 this is about the believers those who believe and work righteousness you know the question we had about faith and doing good work so many many times in the Quran having faith and doing righteous deeds come together those who believe and work righteousness the Lord will guide them because of their faith beneath them will flow rivers in gardens of bliss this will be their cry therein in heaven Glory to thee, O God, and peace be will be their greetings therein. So it means people of heaven, when they greet each other, they say, Peace be with you or upon you. And they end their conversation with Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. It's you know, Alleluia. So you know, all the praises due to God. So the prophets greet with saying peace be with you the believers in heaven do the same another verse is verse 23 of chapter 14 God says وَأُدْخِلَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتَ الْأَنْهَارِ those who believe and work righteousness will be admitted to gardens beneath which rivers flow to dwell therein then it says their greetings is salam tahiyyatuhum fiha salam their greeting therein will be peace angels angels also use this greeting of peace 
in this world is one occasion in this world at the time of death at the time of entrance to heaven inside heaven we have all verses that angels greet by saying peace for example when angels went to visit Abraham it was about giving the good news of having a son and also the bad news of punishment for the people of Lot okay so in the verses 51 to 53 of chapter 15 God says and informed them about the guests of Abraham when they entered into his presence and said peace Qalu salama. so the angels told Abraham salama Pardon? I, yeah maybe when I say the verse you can put it on the also verse 69 of chapter 11 the same story of Abraham there came our messengers to Abraham with glad tidings they said peace he answered peace and then Abraham hastened to entertain them with a roasted calf at the time that people who are good die again angels visit them and offer them greetings of peace for example <clears throat> verse 32 chapter 16 32 chapter 16 those whose lives the angels take in a state of purity means those pious people when they die and the angels take their life saying to them peace be on you enter the garden the heaven because of the good which you did okay so they greet every pious person who is dying and offer peace and you know when you are dying you must be very worried stressful and this greeting of peace is not just formal greeting it actually brings you peace because this is the prayer of angel to God to grant you peace and the prayer of angel is going to be accepted so when they give you greetings of peace you receive package of peace at the time of entrance to heaven because as we said yesterday there is a gap between when we die and when we have the day of judgment the eternal heaven is after the day of judgment we have a temporary heaven <laughs> in the period between but the eternal heaven is after the day of judgment so when you die in the state of purity they greet you with peace also after you are judged to go to the eternal heaven the Quran says the angels also greet people at the gate of heaven and say peace Yes. Are you saying that the saints go to the eternal heaven immediately? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, then I misunderstood. Yes. Everyone has to wait for the day of judgment, yeah. but those who are very good, even when they are in that you know period which we call Barzakh, yeah. uh, still they may have some enjoy you know experience most of people will be sleeping but very good people and very bad people for them pleasure and pain starts right after death but most of people will be like sleeping verse 73 of chapter 39 
وسیق الذین تقو ربهم الى الجنت زمرا Those who are very of the Lord, they have God fearing, they have piety, will be led to paradise in groups. This is very important. You know, one of the topics which is very important is the topic of community. And what we understand from the Quran is that on the day of judgment, we will be resurrected as individuals. Initially, every individual will be resurrected. But then God will call us to assemble by joining our leaders. Good people will stand behind good leaders, bad people will stand behind bad leaders. And when we go to heaven or hell, we will not go as individuals, we will go in groups. So we are resurrected as individual, but we would join the most relevant group or community and with them we go. So for example, those who followed Abraham, those who followed Moses, you know, Jesus, true followers, they will go with their own leader to heaven. If they followed bad people, they go with the bad leaders. There are lots of verses here. So this verse says, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ رَبَّهُمْ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ زُمَرًا So the pious people will be led towards heaven in groups. Hatta, have you got it? Verse 73 of chapter 39. 39, 73. Hatta إِذَا wa وَفُتِحَتْ When they end, reached heaven, and the doors are opened, then the keepers of heaven, which are the angels, would tell them, Salamun alaykum. Tiptum. Fadhuluha khalidin. Peace be upon you. You are welcome. Enter heaven and remain there forever. So, this is offering of peace, greeting of peace by angels next to the gate of heaven. So, angels greeted Abraham in this world by saying peace. Angels greet every pious person when he or she dies by offering peace. Angels offer greeting of peace when pious people enter heaven. But also inside heaven. It's not just at the beginning. Verses 23 and 24, chapter 13. 13, 32, uh, sorry, 23 and 24. Jannatu adnan yadukhulunaha wa man salaha min abaihim wa azwajihim wa dhuriyatihim wal malaikatu yadukhuluna alayhim min kull bab. Gardens of perpetual bliss, they shall enter there as well as the righteous among their fathers, their spouses, their offspring. And angels shall enter unto them from every gate. So from every gate, the angels come. They offer salam, peace unto you. Why? Because you were patient. You were patient, so you received this peace. Then, so, so far we had the greetings of prophets, the greetings of angels, the greetings of believers in heaven. The fourth is greetings of God. God also gives salam. Peace. For example, in the Quran, we read in many verses that God 
sends his greetings of peace to some people. For example, John the Baptist. The Quran says that God says, peace be to him the day he was born, the day he dies, and the day he is raised alive. God sends greetings of peace to Noah. Salamun ala Nuhin fil alam. God sends greetings of peace to Abraham. Salamun ala Ibrahim. Allah Abraham. Peace be to Abraham. Moses and Aaron. Peace be to Moses and Aaron. And in general, Salamun ala al Mursaleen. Peace be to all the apostles. So this is God sending this greeting of peace. In heaven, not only the angels visit believers in heaven and greet them with peace, not only believers greet each other with peace, but also God greets them with peace. Verse 58 of chapter 36. 58 of chapter 36. Salamun qawlan min rabban rahim. Peace. A word from a Lord, the most merciful. So one of the greatest sources of joy and comfort, I think, is explained in this verse. That when a believer in heaven would receive greeting of peace from God, Amazing. Also, the Quran tells us that God instructed in different occasions different people to use greeting of peace. For example, In chapter 20, verse 47. Chapter 20, verse 47. It's about Moses and Aaron to visit Pharaoh. Are you uh, uh, happy I mention a very important point here about dialogue? On the side of this you know we have two expressions mentioned in the Quran about going and speaking to Pharaoh so it's a quiz please give me the answer in one you know way of expressing this <laughs> God says to Musa, uh, Moses and Harun, go to Pharaoh. Ezhaba. You go to him. But in this verse, yeah, this is not a good translation. It doesn't say go to him. It says come to him. Fatia. The very, very subtle point here. First he says, go there. Then he says, come there. What does it mean? It means I will be there. So, it's not that God just sends you for dialogue. God will be there for you. When you go there, fatia, come there. Also, God says to Moses, when Moses says, I am worried that Pharaoh may, you know, become angry, may, you know, for example, do something wrong. Of course, he was not worried maybe about his own life, about the whole mission. The Quran says, God told him, I am with you. I will be hearing and watching you. So he says, go there. And then he says, come there. Also, he says, I will be there 
watching you and hearing you. So this is a good support for those who work for unity and for dialogue even with very difficult people. God is not going just to send you. It's very important. Fa'atiyah, come to him. Fa'gula, and tell, Enna Rasula Rabbek, we are two apostles of your Lord. Fa'arsal ma'ana bani Israel, wa la tu'adzibhum. Send with us Israelites, don't punish them, don't torture them, don't hurt them. We have also brought you a sign from your Lord, a miracle, so that you can believe that this is the message of your Lord. And peace be to all who follow guidance. Yes. We have to stop. Okay. So we can continue this uh, in the afternoon session. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen.